Okay, let's look at what got you into this world. Hips brought you into this world. Sex. That's the foundation of, of everything. Physical. Your hips of your parents brought you into this world. Your hips are your parents. They are your loins. Your left hip is your relationship with your mom. Your right hip is your relationship with your dad. The range of motion determ is determined by your range of emotion and how much emotional atrophy you have, how much emotion you allow yourself to feel in that relationship. So if you're rigid and inflexible emotionally, it expresses itself in your hips. Now let's go down to the quad, especially right quad, which lines up with the liver. So we talk about right quad. The quad propels you. If you're running, the quad is what pushes you forward. So when your quad hurts, you have a problem in your right quad especially, you're going in the direction, you're going in a painful direction. You're going in the direction of, uh, especially when, when we're talking about the, the liver, the liver is in, in uh, let's say in conjunction with uh, happiness and sadness. Let's just say that the liver regulates happiness and sadness. Anger. Anger comes from the liver. So if you're moving in a direction that burns that out, your right quad will express that. You will have lack of propulsion, lack of range of motion. And then from there, we can look at the knee. Let's look at the knee. The knee, of course, itself. Anytime you have a knee problem, it's emotional inflexibility. So the knee especially. The knee is so intertwined with the, the quad because the patella tendon and the way the, the quad, the way it stretches over that, that all, you know, that all connects so that when that doesn't, when it's all about swelling, everything has to do with swelling. If the liver is swollen, your right quad will be swollen. If your kidneys are swollen, then the band that runs from your hamstring up your back will be pressured because your back, it will swell out. And so it's like if you focus on money, because it's support, let's look at it like this. I'm jumping around a little bit, but let's look at it like this real quick for a quick video. Lower back is a is a stress over support, money, financial support. Upper back, love, stress over love support. So when your kidneys are uh, being attacked or they're you're attacking them with uh, with trash, they swell because you're doing that because of anxiety over money. You have anxiety over money, then you want to chew things that you shouldn't chew, and then your your kidneys express that pain. So then that swells your kidneys out. Your back gets stretched out now, and now the whole band that runs from hamstring over your gl your glutes to your back is all stretched and stressed out because of the mental. Because everything is consciousness. The body, is, the energy is consciousness. The body is physical consciousness. So. It's, you know, left, you know, the hip bone connects to the something, something bone. It's like just how that's how it is, though. It really is like the consciousness works that way. And that's why, you know, when you know the body, you can unlearn it. And um, if we bring it back to the knee, and we know the quad and the knee are intimately tied. We know like if we're going to the right, we're being more physical in our propulsion. We're not being balanced. We're not balancing the meta and the physical. You can't separate the meta from the physical. But if you're going, if your right quad is suffering it, you're going through, you know, you're going in, a, you're propelling yourself in a direction that is uh, offensive. And if you're going too far left, then your soul is not in the right place. If it's your left knee, you know, left uh, quad, that's more so pancreatic damage, stomach damage left lung damage. Um, you just look at reflexology, look at iridology. Um, it's, you know, out is in, in is out. I mean, life is, life is, you, you are a doorway. The body is a doorway. And when you look out that window or that door, you're looking out that door, you're only seeing what's in while you look out. So once we lose this illusion of inhale and exhale, then that we no longer see in as out or out as in and everything is void. And then we can step beyond that and we can see or be in, be in that. I should say that instead of beyond because it's within because the internal is is where everything comes from, manifests from. So as you go within, you're going infinite. So 
you are the you know the 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 breath is that holy spirit going in and out that powers everything that's the great thing about um about this weed legalization thing is that weed will show people that the power of herbs the power of herbs show you the power of the body the power of the body shows you the power of the breath which powers everything 